We return to our reporting on the Rohingya people, one of the most persecuted minorities on earth, escaping the violence in Myanmar. And tonight, Pope Francis is visiting Myanmar, being very careful with his words, but sending a message. ABC's James Longman, traveling with the Pope. Pope Francis arrived in Myanmar to cheers of happy children lining the roads. Different from the lines our team found just weeks ago of people with pink slips hoping for food along its border. 620,000 Rohingya Muslims have fled from what Secretary of State Rex Tillerson calls ethnic cleansing. The Pope's first meeting with this man, General Minang Hilang, accused by rights groups of crimes against humanity. This trip, a diplomatic tightrope. Francis warned not to even use the word Rohingya. If he insults his hosts, he risks inflaming tensions. If soft, his moral authority could be diminished. The general in a Facebook statement saying the Pope was told there's no ethnic discrimination here, despite these scenes. Tomorrow, Pope Francis meets with embattled leader Aung San Suu Kyi, who was herself once under house arrest. He'll also give his first public address, at which he'll say Myanmar's future rests in respect for each ethnic group. He's hoping his presence, if not his words, are enough to build bridges.